specific situation. That's right, Shelly. As food supplies run out, we're finding market basket shoppers are running to other stores. Shoppers told us the neighboring groceries are more expensive and getting more crowded as the market basket protest continues. At the Concord Market Basket, there are more people outside the store than inside. I would rather stand out here and do something right than to sit inside and cower. There's no food in there. There's no, there's really not a lot of food in there. Market Basket corporate employees walked off the job last Friday to protest the ousting of former CEO Arthur T. DeMoulis. So far, RDT has not been reinstated, meaning food is not being delivered and store shelves are empty. The vegetable racks are pretty empty. Uh, there's, there's some groceries, the fish is out. Some Market Basket shoppers say they have no choice but to bring their business elsewhere. I like Market Basket, and I, you know they have very good prices, and I, that's why I come here. I will go. Obviously, I'll have to go to Shaw's or Hannaford. I have no other choice because I we still have to eat. Now everyone has to go spend more money on food at other stores that cost more. Nancy Cormier usually shops at Market Basket, but she switched to Shaw's after the strike. Yeah, everything's like a dollar more. You know, it's tough. But money isn't the only motivator. Don't want to go through an area of people who are protesting. The Hannaford up the road is a bit busier than usual. But it's much more crowded than it would be on a day day like today. I mean, it it just it's more like a weekend crowd in there. And shoppers tell us some groceries are getting scarce. Yeah, it is. Everything's running out. There's like hardly any bread. There's half the milk that's usually there. And according to WeAreMarketBasket.com, employees will stage what they are calling the grand finale this Friday at 9 a.m. They hope this protest at the corporate headquarters in Tewksbury will compel company heads to rehire Arthur T. and give shoppers some relief. Stephanie Woods, WMUR News 9. Well, today the Attorney General.